The temperature is key. The temperature is key. I don't care if the water temperature is 36 degrees. If it's, if it's moving up to 37 degrees, you can catch them, All right? If it's rising, if it's cold, cold water, but it's, you have a warm day and the water temperature's bumping up, you're gonna have some activity in those fish and they're gonna be catchable. So if it's 35 and rising, good. If it's 40 and rising, it's, it's all good. Now, you can still catch them in other conditions, but it gets much more difficult and you need to be aware of that. If you have stable water temperatures, it's tricky. If it's falling water temperatures, cold, falling water temperature, it is a challenging, challenging condition. And the reason for it is the fish do not give you information. Um, you have to do a lot of guesswork. And it's kind of what happened to us at the Classic uh, when we were at Grand, is as cold as it was, somehow during the tournament, it got colder. <laughs> we didn't think it could. We didn't think it could get any colder than 20 for the high, but whatever, it got colder. And we had water temperatures that were in the low, low 40s, and they stabilized and started to fall a little bit. And it changed the bite, and it changes those patterns. And when that happens, the fish feed less, and you don't get the feedback. You throw your jerk bait, and you don't get any bites. You don't get, you don't get bites on your jig or your other cold water techniques, so you're not getting good feedback. So it becomes very, very challenging. And some of the techniques that I'm going to tell you about are the techniques that I cycle through in the winter to get to find the ones that work. Uh, because of, of, in a wintertime, you will find a technique. It's going to be one of these that I'm talking about. One of these techniques is going to be the magic button that triggers those strikes. But the colder the water temperature, the harder it is to, fi harder it is to find just because the fish just don't give you that much feedback. Muddy or clear water? Uh, clear water is definitely the key. One of the, one of the hugest things about fishing is, is this, it's the biggest thing focusing on the subtle, right? It's amazing how these little subtle things make all the difference. In muddying water situations, if the water is clearing, you can catch them. That's a huge statement. Now, if the water is, I mean, the water can have two inches of visibility, but if yesterday it had no visibility, you can catch them, right? The water has started to clear. Once those river currents crest and that, that silt starts falling out, those fish, boom, they turn to feeding. Okay, so so long as that water is clearing, you have a great opportunity for fishing in the area that you're at. You always want to seek out the clearest water, but in the case where it's all mud, you want to try to make that observation. Is this, is this mud fresh? Is it muddying up? Is it getting worse? Is it stable or is it clearing? Let me tell you, if it's clearing, you need to get confident and you need to say, okay, I'm in a, I see bait on my screen. I've got clearing water. It's on. It's go time. I can, I can find a way to trigger these fish to bite no matter the water temperature. You know, we got so many clothes on, we're cold, and man, where's that hair jig at? You know, and you, you don't even want to go in your, t you got to get yourself a good wintertime organizational kit, a wintertime box, make it easy for yourself. It's already hard enough out there, but organization really helps me this time of year. The de-icing spray, the real in line magic. You guys know what I'm talking about? That little silicone spray that we use to manage our line and make it soft? Well, that's beautiful in the wintertime. If anybody's ever been fishing in the real cold stuff, when it gets super cold, you know, the ice locks up in your eyes, your rod, and you can't even reel. You can break fish off, you lose fish because you go to set the hook and your line jams up and you can't retrieve any line. The, you stick the rod in the water, to, that'll work, to get, but it's only an instant. You take the rod out and boom, ice is right back up. One thing I always do, this is a neat little trick in the wintertime is boom, boom, boom. When you get water moisture on your eyes, if you just boom like that, it'll flick it off the rod and, and it'll be less water to freeze. So as you're reeling, as you're working, I'm always, you know, constantly just, just popping my rod just a little bit helps. But that real in line magic, it goes in here, it goes here, 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 it goes all the way up and down that rod. Right? That'll keep that ice out of there. You're still going to battle it on a cold day, but that is the best, that's, that's the best thing I've found to deal with that bad ice. Get some great cold weather gear. I tell you, 
the angler that is cold catches no fish. <laughs> Ever, anybody ever get out there and get cold? You don't care anymore. <laughs> you know, you want a hot cup of coffee, you want to get back to the truck. I remember as Naughton in the room, <laughs> Naughton, me and Naughton were down at uh, Gunnersville. I tell this story a lot because it was one of the coldest days I've ever been out. We were idling around Gunnersville preparing for uh, Bass Measure or FLD. I can't remember which tournament we were preparing for, but uh, it was so, it was bitter cold. It was in the teens or the 20s for the high. I was idling and the wind was hammering on top of it. It was like 30 mile an hour winds. And I'm idling over these, these humps and shoals and the water's spraying up. The, my garment was sheets of ice. My, my whole body was a sheet of ice. When I moved, I cracked, you know, because the spray was just hitting me and freezing. And uh, we actually, it was the only time I can ever remember doing this. It was so cold, I couldn't take it. After about four hours, we parked the boat, went in the truck and turned the heater on and warmed up for a few hours. But, uh, but that's key, you know, um, Stormer, we're so proud of, of working with them this year and you gotta check out their extreme cold weather gear. They've got some very, very innovative stuff that works in that, you know, 20 degrees, 10 degrees weather. Uh, and it's, you know, we have some on display in the back, but you want to get some great, great cold weather gear. You do not want to get cold. You get cold, I don't care if you're a tournament guy or you're just out fun fishing, you don't care anymore. You just want to get home and watch the football game. I hope you enjoyed the preview clip and for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. You want to become a better angler? You want to catch more and bigger bass at your local pond? Then check out Bash University TV for hardcore bass fishing information. Hey, I'm Pete Kluzek. And I'm Mike Iaconelli. And this is Bash University TV. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Everywhere I go in the country, I'm trying to use these techniques because I catch big fish that way. From on the water to in the classroom. We want to use that bait to help make that area even smaller and really, really find that sweet spot. You'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. You want something that's got a nice limber action that's gonna allow you to build pressure and keep those hooks pinned against that fish's mouth. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Hold on, because you're gonna catch some big <laughs> fish. Information is power in the sport of fishing, so learn from the very best. That's a key theory in all of fishing. Subscribe to Bass University TV today. Man, does it trigger a lot of strikes. Here's the part that you're not gonna hear anywhere else. This is the Bash University TV exclusive.